Welcome to a short demo on automation with Ansible playbooks for ICX switches. My name is Bharat Uday Shankar with the product management team for Wired Products. So let's talk about the Ansible configuration. The control machine needs Python 2, version 2.7 or higher, or Python 3. Go ahead and install the Ansible packages by uh, doing an app get or a pip install in a Linux machine. Uh, we need version um, 2.7.8 or higher. Create a list of network devices that you'd like to manage in the default uh, inventory file, which is located at etc slash ansible slash hosts. Once you have that updated, run a ping command just to make sure all of your network devices are reachable by the control node. And the command to do that would be ansible dash m ping all. So here's my demo environment. I have an Ubuntu machine that's running version 18.04. I also have Ansible 2.8 as well as Python 2.7 installed in this machine. I have a couple of ICX 7650 switches that are essentially going to be my managed nodes. And the Ubuntu machine is going to be my control node. So let's automate with playbooks. Let's go ahead and focus our attention over to the screen over here. I have three windows open. On the left hand side is my control node, which is an Ubuntu machine. And on my right hand side, I have two other windows, which are two ICX 7650 switches that I've SSH'd into. So before we start automating with playbooks, let me go ahead and show you. Uh, let me go ahead and make sure that we have the right version of Ansible as well as Python installed in the, in the control node. So uh, the command to do that is ansible dash dash version. When I do that, I get the Ansible version 281 and also Python version 2715. So I think we're good on that front. So the next step is to show you the host file. So the default host file, as I told you, is located at slash etc slash Ansible. So we're in the right directory. So if I do an ls minus l, so here it is. I'm going to do a vi on the host, host file. And this is typically how your inventory file would look like. And as you can see, I have um, a group called sanity-access uh, under which I have two IP addresses, which are the IP addresses of the ICX 7650 that I'm going to be managing. So let's come out of that. I showed you the host file. I showed you the Ansible version and also the Python version. The next step is um, once you download the the Ansible files from the Ruckus support portal, you can expect to see um, ICX Ansible underscore modules version 1.0 tar.gz file. So go ahead and copy that into your environment and unzip the file. Once you unzip the file, you can see five four to five different files that get that are part of that package. One is the ansible.tar.gz, then there's a documentation file, and then easy install, and last but not least, we have the sample playbooks, which is ICX examples. So the next step is to run easy install in order to copy the ICX modules into your environment. Once you do that, you can also go ahead and unzip the ICX uh, sample playbooks. That will also give you an idea of to how playbooks um, are typically written. You can also write your own playbooks, but I'd suggest that if you're, if you're for starters to just go ahead and use the, the playbooks that are already built by engineering. So let me show you tip, uh, what a playbook would look like. So I have a folder called ICX-Ansible where I've copied all my modules and playbooks. And in the folder ICX, you can see um, that I have all my playbooks here that I unzipped from icxexamples.tar. It has anything from banner to all the way down to VLANs and users and system level changes that you can make. Let me open one of the playbooks. I'm going to open a VI playbook user. I'm, I'm opening this file because this is the first playbook that we will be running on our demo. So as you can see, um, the playbooks are pretty simple, straightforward, written in plain English, um, just have a name for it. And then I'm calling the ICX user module, creating a username Ruckus and also a password of Ruckus123. 
So it looks straightforward. So I'm sure that you can build it on your own, but I still recommend to um, use our sample playbooks. So let me come out of that file. Let me also show you what how our modules would uh, look like the Python modules. So those are in, let's see, CD modules slash network slash ICX. And here are the Python modules. You can also look at the Python modules if you're interested in the Python, um, how they're structured and written. So this is what a typical module would look like. Okay. Let me not go into some of the details. I'm just going to come out of this and uh, show you how to actually automate using the playbooks. So since the modules are not really relevant for you to build. OK, so before we start automating with playbooks, um, we checked the Ansible version. We checked the Python version. I also showed you where the host file is. We also looked at the sample playbooks and also the Python modules. So let's automate with playbooks. I would like to show you three use cases. The first use case is password management. What we're going to do is run the playbook user and create a username password, username ruckus and a password uh, of ruckus123 account on the two switches as you see on the right hand side. Just to make sure that these configs are already not present, I'm going to quickly do a show run on the first switch on top to show you that we don't have all these configs pre-built. So as you can see, um, this is running 8090. On the top right hand, we have one VLAN, which is the default VLAN. Um, we also have a default route. And then as you scroll down, we have some uh, smart zone, IP addresses, commands. Uh, we have a loopback address and a management address. So that's pretty much we have what we have on switch one. And similarly on switch two, um, I would expect the same. So there's a default VLAN, there's some AAA commands, a default route. Um, and then if I scroll down, there's a management IP address. And that's pretty much it. And alternatively, what I can do is I can uh, pull the configs of both the ICX 7650 switches using a playbook called commands. So I'm going to run that playbook. Um, in order to do that, the command is ansible-playbook. Oh, I need to get into the playbook folder. So cd ICX ansible-playbook followed by playbook command. So in my playbook command playbook, I have um, some commands that I'm running, which will basically get that information from these two switches on the right hand side. So let's go through it real quick. If I go all the way to the top, as you can see, um, it pulled the configs of both the switches. So the first uh, switch here says hostname demo switch one. Also do a show version to see the what version of code it's running. Um, similarly, I have a default route username, um, the default username and password, which is the administrator and password account. Um, and then right over here, there's the loopback address, interface management, um, and then the default VLAN to which all the ports belong to. And then let's go further down. And over here, you can see I have the other switch, demo switch dash two. Similarly, we have a show version command that's checking the firmware version running on the switch and a default route and uh, um, administrator account and password. Um, scrolling down, um, VLAN, default VLAN with the ports, all the ports um, that are part of it. So it looks like both these switches have the basic config. They don't have anything else. So let's um, go back to use case one, which is the password management use case where I'm going to create a username of Ruckus and a password of Ruckus123 uh, using the playbooks user. So let me go ahead and run the playbook. Ansible playbook, playbook dash user dot YAML. So my control machine is running the playbook, as you can see on the left hand side. Um, it just took a second here and then all the way in the bottom, you can see that um, it went through and there was one there was one change made on each of the switches so let's go ahead and verify this change 
Um, let me do a quick show run pipe include user. There you can see there's a username of ruckus and password created and similarly show run user on the second switch username ruckus password created. Let me go out of the switch and quickly verify this change. I'm going to change the username to ruckus. Try to SSH password ruckus123. There you go. I'm able to log into the switch. And similarly on switch number two, changing administrator to ruckus. password ruckus123, it works. So so there's our use case. I, I, made a, I, made a, I made a change on adding a username and password to both the switches simply by just running the playbook um, user. And, it, and this can be done across several switches and this for just for, for your, um, just for simplicity sake, I've been, I, I automated it in two switches. So let's go ahead and make a configuration change, which will be use case number two. So what I'm going to do is run um, a few playbooks. So the first playbook I'm going to run is static route. So let's quickly check uh, what route I'm going to add. So I'm going to do a VI on the static route playbook. As you can see, I'm calling the static route module and I'm going to add a prefix route of 2.2.2.0 slash 24 pointing to the next stop address of 10.20.14.3. Okay, so let's go ahead and run that playbook. And scroll dash playbook, playbook, static route, dot YAML. Okay, it's gonna take a second over here. And okay, so it looks like the changes were made. Um, it looks like IP route 2.2.2.0 255.255.255.0 is pointing to 10.2014.3 was made on both these switches. So let's go ahead and check our switches on the right hand side. I'm just going to do a show run pipe include route. As you can see initially we saw we had only one default route and now we have the other route that we just created. And similarly on the second switch let's do a show, include, show run pipe include route. As you can see we also added a second route on the second switch. So that would be a configuration change, but let me go ahead and run the same playbook um, just for laughs and grins and see what happens. Okay, so I ran the same playbook once again, and as you can see in the bottom, um, everything looks okay, but the state change remains zero. So the, basically when I run the same playbook over and over again, there was no state change made. What that, what that tells me is Ansible is going and checking in the switches to make sure that uh, we're not repeatedly running the same playbooks over and over again. So just to avoid uh, repetitive work. So that's a good uh, indication that um, all the changes that, that we are requesting using the playbook has already been made. Let me also run a few more um, playbooks. So the next playbook I'm going to run is create a banner playbook underscore banner. I'm going to run that playbook on the left hand side as you can see. It's just taking a second over here. Okay, there was a change made on adding a playbook, uh, adding a banner on both the switches and here is a message of the day which is going to be Ansible Magic and then similarly on switch to Ansible Magic. Um, let me also run another playbook which is adding VLAN 10 and tagging about 10 ports to that VLAN. So I'm going to run that playbook here, ansible-playbook, playbook underscore VLAN. Okay, going ahead to run that. It's just going to take a second over here. Okay, so the changes have been made. So adding VLAN 10 and tagging Ethernet port 1 through 10 on both switch 1 as well as switch 2. So those changes have been made. As you can see in the bottom, everything looks okay. Change made. Okay, doke. So, so far I've done three different playbooks. One is adding a static route. Second is adding a banner. And third is adding VLANs.
VLAN 10 and tagging about 10 different ports to the VLAN. So let's go ahead and check our switches on the right hand side to make sure all of these changes um, uh, took place indeed. So I'm going to do a show run. Let's see. There you go. As you can see, there's VLAN 10 created, adding tag ports 111 through 1110. If you scroll down, um, there you can see the static route that I added. And then finally, there's a banner message of the day. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it on switch one. And similarly on switch two, um, there's my VLAN that I created, VLAN 10, tagging ports 1 through 10, um, static route 2.2.2.0, slash 24, pointing to 10, 20, 14.3, and then there's the ba banner message of the day. Um, just to make sure that the banner is actually working, I'm going to log out of one of the switches and log back in, and we should expect to see a banner pop up. There you go. There's the banner that says Ansible Magic. Now I'm going to use type in the password to log in and I'm in so everything looks good so far on both of my switches by running three different playbooks keep in mind that um, I just used three different playbooks to run three different commands but you can combine that into one playbook but just for simplicity sake I ran three different playbooks to run to do three different functions or configuration changes so the last use case is going to be to review the config changes. I have, as I told you before, I have a playbook called command that will pull my configs from both of my switches. So let's go ahead and run that playbook, which is playbook commands. Okay, going ahead to run that. And um, OK, so the playbook has completed. Um, so let's just go up to switch number one to review the configs. So host name demo switch one, show version, running the version, and then I'm running a show run pipe include route. So here is the new route that was added. Also the username account, which is Ruckus. Um, and then there is the mess banner message of the day. If I scroll down, I should expect to see some VLAN information here. For VLAN 10, I'm tagging ports 1 through 10. Similarly, if I go to switch number 2, demo switch 2, doing a show version to see the code, um, checking the static route here, also checking the username account ruckus. And similarly, we have a banner message of the day. Um, and then towards the bottom, here is port VLAN 10. Um, and tagging ports 1 through 10. So that was Ansible Playbooks 101 in a nutshell. I will be adding more videos on different types of demos consecutively, but uh, thanks for watching the short demo. Thank you. For further details, please refer to our developer's guide that is available in the Ruckus support portal at www.ruckusnetworks.com. Thank you for listening to the short video on automation for ICX using Ansible. Have a great day.